What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. Uh, last episode, we built this roller coaster here uh, to help save the park. We were dying financially with all the staff and everything else we needed to do something to bring in more guests and make more money. Um, when we left off with this, it still needed some smoothing in certain areas. And uh, the timing was off on the coaster trains to where it would always get stuck in the, the block state or block breaks that are coming up here shortly in the mid course run. So I went ahead and modified the coaster up a little bit, got it running a little bit smoother, got it to where it doesn't stop mid course and uh, has had a little leg spike. Um, and we were able to get it to where financially we were were, were, were good financially again. Um, so right now, I, a little bit ago, I actually closed down the park, made everybody leave the park, and then reopened the park. And I went from 30 something thousand dollars down to negative 20 something thousand dollars now we're back up to 30 something thousand dollars again so it's very profitable and uh stuff like that so let's uh let's see here right now it's made us almost 250 thousand dollars already uh in its short lifespan of nine years or that's nine minutes uh when was it? When did we? I could have swore um, it tells you. Oh, right there. That's last breakdown. When I could have swore it told you, like, it shows you when. You built it. But I guess not. But anyhow, enough of that. Um, I on top of doing that, uh, we still weren't getting people into this food court here, so I kind of dressed it up a little bit. And I know it's kind of overkill, but I couldn't really find decent signs for all the restaurants or food stalls that are in here. So I kind of just put in TVs. And then advertising for each food stall. So I got one, two, three, four, five food stalls, I think. Four or five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. So the first five are the food stalls. And then these three here are the drink stalls upstairs. So we have a pip shop. Pip, pip shot. And then uh, we didn't have one for the... Uh, it's another pip shot, but one is like uh, the juice or whatnot, and then the other one is for another one. Which one is this? That's the juice, and that's smoothies. So we have one that is actually for juice. Well, actually, it's just pip chop in general. So I didn't want to copy the same one over here, so I just put another pirate themed thing on it to advertise for the other one, and then we have one for the Street Fox Coffee, Street Fox Coffee one. Um, and then on top of that, I haven't really done anything else over here. I did add in the ATMs for this roller coaster. Uh, what else did we do? I haven't really... Oh, I extended the line, the queue out for Ascendance because it was just constantly just filling up and people just would not, they weren't able to get in the line. So I extended out to fit more people in there, make more money for us, and then decorated around it. Um, let's see here. And then I also 
put in more trees and scenery all around through this side of the park here. Filled in all the gaps with scenery. And then the biggest change really is around the go-karts. Or sorry, goat carts. Uh, I, I filled in the scenery around all this. So that looks kind of cool now. Uh, they're getting ready to fill back up. So we'll ride that here in a little bit. But then I also went ahead and filled in back here. Put in another little cottage thing here. And I put in another flat ride right here, which isn't really making a whole lot of money, but it's doing something. I mean, it's made $6,000 in its lifetime, so, and it could be worse. I guess I could possibly go ahead and set this for any load. So that way the people aren't constantly just stuck on there when it's not full. Um, go karts must have broke down because the queue is empty again. So let's speed up time. Let these guys fill back in and we'll ride the go karts. Hey, I actually said goat carts that time. And uh, you'll, I'll show you what it looks like with scenery around the track. All right, so they're off. Let's go ahead and ride this. Now, the reason why I've, I've done all this, I, I was actually recording all this stuff. Oh, our dude just spun out. Um, I was recording all this stuff that I'd done with all the scenery and everything, but the sound was messed up on it. So hopefully it's better now. Um, so that's why it, I don't have that out. Um, I was going to push that video out yesterday, but which would have been Thursday. But when I went to go edit it, I noticed the sound was all messed up. So, but that's why there's so many scenery changes and everything else that usually I don't do that much off camera. Usually it's just a little bit here and there, but so this is what it looks like with all the scenery around the go-kart track. It dressed it up quite nice. Um, it almost looks like you're just driving through the jungle and stuff. It's pretty cool. So um, let's go ahead and hop off them now. But the one thing I do want to do today is... I notice there's not a lot of people over here anymore compared to what there usually is. But I want to push this path out. And then I what I can't really unless I move the scenery right here and wrap this around this way out and around, which I might end up doing. Just wrap the path around between the coaster and the, the cottage here. Wrap the path around and around the trees and connect it up over here. And then also I want to take this path out, follow the fence. And that's the other thing too. I put fences down. To block off um, the coasters. I put one fence down over here, outlining that coaster, and then another fence over here, outlining this coaster here. But I also want to take a path and push it out this way, and then connect up pathwise that way. But I also want to put in a chairlift. I think it, I don't know if almost too small of an area, like a span for a chair lift, unless I put it on an angle this way, which I might do there, put the station here and then chair lift it over and over to here. Um, unless I do, I'll have to rethink that out. Maybe we'll just start off with another coaster, maybe put a coaster over here, have it go out over the water. I might do that actually. Let's see here. What kind of um, buildings? I don't know. My blueprints and building. Um, pirate coaster station here. Rotate this around. 
Because there's no coaster on this side of the park yet, so we're good to put a coaster here. Let's lower this down. Raise it up just ever so slightly. We want to make sure that that floor is almost flush with ground level, but not below ground. All right, so let's go ahead and put that, put that there. Should we move now? Yeah. It'll be good right here. Put that there. And then path-wise, go ahead and slap in the path here. All right, so we got the path in. Extending it out a little bit further this way. Now we just need to figure out what coaster to put in here. Because we'll have the queue, which will come in. Because this is a, a station that I built um, in a sandbox park. And don't mind the glitchiness. That's just because of different objects overlapping. Um, and that's what causes that. So the queue will come in through here. I'll have some steps right here. Then it'll come down. Uh, this is where the priority pass line will come out at. But the actual queue will go out, wrap around the front of the building here. And then go around the corner. Go down this way. Around this corner. Down through here. And then this is where the priority pass will begin. And then, of course, this is where you enter at. And then a little bit easier for exit, you'll go through this one right here. And then turn, go down, and out that way. So, quite easy. But now we just got to figure out what roller coaster to put in this station. Let's uh, see what we have here that will fit. For this area here. All right, so I had to really choose wisely on this coaster because I forgot that this station's the station is built for a suspended roller coaster. So I was planning on putting in, or I was thinking about putting in a uh, giga coaster, um, or something else like a hyper or a giga coaster, one of the two. But I forgot that when I built this station was for a suspended roller coaster. So I couldn't get the station level inside on the platform because of how the flooring is. The track would have been below the floor. So it just wouldn't have looked right unless I changed up and took all this stuff out right here and lowered it or something like that, which I could have done. But it just wouldn't have been the same. So we're just going to do this. We're going to do a Stingray, which is pretty much a type of coaster that will lower down, let you sit in it, and then it'll pop back up and it'll be like you're flying. So that's what we'll end up doing. And then we'll just have it, you know, probably go over top of the water. Um, maybe even somehow have it loop back around the harbor or something like that back in here. Try to interact with stuff over in here as well. So let me see what kind of concept we can do with this. We have $30,000 to play with and we're constantly making money. So let me see if we can do this something a little bit better, make our rides a little bit better and uh, get more people in the park for us. All right. So <clears throat> hopefully when I open this up, it'll all work. Perfectly fine, because as of right now, as it's in test mode, um, the train's actually stopping at the top of the lift hill because I don't have any mid-course block brakes or anything else like that. Um, I'm thinking that it's going to take some time for the passengers to unload and then load up the new group. So hopefully that'll give us enough time for the coaster to go through its circuit Get to the first brake run at the tail end of the coaster before it actually 
lets the other train go again. So, but as of right now, our prestige is at 1303, which will give us about $37 for the ticket price. But I'll actually do $35 instead. So, um, and then as of right now, we have 100% Q scenery because of the building. Um, we have the priority pass already in. I'm going to get rid of this little pathway here. I had to put that in because of trying to hook this up. But I'm going to go ahead and open that up and see if anybody actually makes their way down through here to this coaster which i'm sure they will as they are already starting to let me go ahead and get rid of this section of path there and we'll speed up time here i'm sure a lot of people are going to get turned away for the simple fact of them saying they don't have enough money but there's a lot of people already going to this coaster without even advertising for it with our information kiosks. But as of right now, there's eh, people are still getting turned away. I do need to turn that into full load. And what we'll do is go ahead and hop on with this guy here. And they don't have a priority pass, so we'll be able to walk through the queue with them. And I got it right at the right height where you don't see any of the, the path whatsoever. And their feet aren't going through the flooring. So, hopefully, I mean, I know it's kind of glitchy because of different pieces uh, overlapping each other. But, I mean, it all looks really good. And it looks even better at night with how the lights light up. And uh, this building's also built for having some different animatronics on top of the balcony. And then also right in this area right here, usually a guy's tucked off in this little cubby right here. And then also alongside the right, along the windows, I usually have guys that pace back and forth like they're colonial soldiers or whatever will pace back and forth so let's making their left turn here and then we got the exit of the priority pass right here and then now they're going up into the actual station itself Now there should be train here. Oh, it's just a, just now arriving actually. So we're gonna get front row seat with this guy. And there's already a train right there. So this one should hopefully make it through without getting stopped at the top of the lift hill. I don't know if it's going to wait on a full load. It shouldn't take too long getting people in here. Go ahead and speed up. Hear a bunch of people getting in. That other train should definitely be able to finish the course. All right, here we go. I think this is the first full train. So honestly, these people are actually looking down like this. Yeah, we'll go like that.
I really wanted to get close to the water a couple times, so I'm planning on actually trying to put some, like, little splash zones in. So that way it looks like the, the train's actually trailing the water a little bit, like cutting through it. Oh, you actually heard the brakes. That was kind of cool. All right. I'm surprised that there isn't as many people. I mean, there's people going through. Ah, glitchy. All right, let's see if there's actually... Ah! See if a line's actually starting to form here or not. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it's just a lot of people still. Well, there we go. There's people starting to form the queue up right now. Why are these? What the heck? Oh, those are the people exiting. I was like, what is going on there? But here we'll show you guys okay. so they'll load in and then these should there we go these little arms right here actually helps push the trains forward for loading and unloading you'll see it come in here and then you'll see these just there you go. All right. So I never actually seen how much this thing actually costs us to build, but we're already back up to $35,000. So it doesn't even seem like we really even spent any money on this coaster. But as of right now, we are at negative $8,000. So it didn't take us long to build, or, you know, it didn't really take us much to build this uh, ride at all. It was actually fairly inexpensive for us, and we're, you know, a few more people, and we're already start making some money on it. But now, people that are over here are gonna have to walk all the way around over to here. So, I'm thinking we need to put in a transport ride. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extend this path out a little bit further here. Like that. And then I need to come over here. I'm gonna follow this fence line around. Like that. And now I kinda wanna put a station to where it's gonna be going right alongside those trees right there. Um, what I'm gonna do is custom. And then, to fit more people, I'm thinking of doing the gondolas. The skis are kind of cool, but it only fits two per car. Let's go ahead and rotate this around. This. Raise that up a bit. Now I'll have to find some stations or something. Hear that or try to build my own. I'm gonna raise these up a little bit higher. Push this out a little bit further. Because I am going to need one of these guys on this side. And then have this go up. angle was this on
this was on a what angle is this on Fourteen thirty-two. There's one, two, three sections. So fourteen thirty-two. Let's see if I can match this up. So fourteen thirty-two ish. Oop. This is. Tricky. What I should have done. That's 1435, I think. Come on. I'm just going to leave it 1435. One, two, three. Level out. Then. Ooh. Yikes. Um, can I put a station right there? I guess I can't put in a station. That sucks. I mean, I can, but you know what? What I'll do is come up here. One, two, three. Level out. Do a station. And then wheel like that. All right. Now that is that. Um. Do I really want that many though? That's the question. I think I need to actually go to the station itself. Um, I'm gonna figure out. Maybe I can't. Uh, choose how many. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what it is. I think, um, I think the speed has something to do with how many cars can go on it. That, um, let's see here, five miles an hour. Okay. Yeah. So if I change the speed up right here. It says number of groups, 18. So if I go, if I speed it up, there's 15. So it lessens the number of cars on there the faster it goes. So now you can see it's uh, a little bit more scattered throughout, which is what I was hoping for. Let's go ahead and test that out. And we're going to actually have to go to the actual station itself. We're going to keep this at $5 for that. That's station two. Let's go to station five. You can change the price for each side. So if there's more people, like more demand for people to load up on one station compared to another station, you can actually charge people more money to go one way than you can the other way, if you really wanted to do. All right, so while that's testing, Go ahead and do our pathing here. All right, so we got our paths in. Now, the way this is going, I'm thinking there's going to be a lot more people coming from over on this side of the park, coming to the back. But I could be wrong. There could be a lot of people going from the back of the park to the, that side as well. So let's go ahead. Can we open this up? Yes, we can. All right, $5 going each direction. Let's see here. It's going to take a while for 
It's like people are. Yep, there we go. We're getting people coming from that way to get on it. Um, and wow, look, look at all these people. And nobody's wanting to ride it. It's too expensive. Okay, it's too expensive. All right, let's do. Yeah, nobody's getting on it. So let's just go back to two dollars then. Let's see if that will. Two dollars. Will that get people on it? There we go. All right. And are the people riding it from this direction now? Yes, they are getting in their queues as well. Let's go ahead and you know what? We'll go to the back of the park, we'll ride it with them, and we'll see what it looks like. Of course, you know, as I usually do off camera, I'll go ahead and do all the scenery and stuff like that. So um, we'll get that taken care of. I don't know if I should leave this type of music on here or not. Nice little view of the park here going up. I didn't take it up too high, but it gets the job done. It gets people moving from one side of the park to the other. I know I said I was going to take some paths and connect it up as well, but I might wait to do that until like further back in the park. So that way, if they want to cut through, they can by using this instead of walking. All right. So there we go. Like I said, I'm going to have to... Um, do some more scenery and stuff. I gotta do some stations for these. I might have to redo the entrance and exit for the stations, but I'll see what I can do for um, that. Then also, well, this actually doesn't really need anything because it's all inside the building. Um, I might do some like bushes and stuff out and I still need to do something in this area here. Um, I'll think of something. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I've been wanting to see about maybe live streaming this, but I want to I want to know what you guys think if that's something that you want to see as a live stream. I haven't really heard too much feedback on it. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. We're going to do this real quick. We're going to switch this to night. And I mean, it's kind of dark here, but you can see how lit up this building is now. And I need to put more lighting on the path and stuff like that. But, you know, man, look at the people in this queue. And it's not backed up down through there yet, but it will be shortly. But this coaster can go through a lot of people pretty quick. So there's a lot of people. It doesn't seem like a long queue, but it actually is. I mean, there's quite a bit of people in there. It probably doesn't fit as much as the other wooden coaster but then again it might because it's a longer queue and it comes out and it wraps around because i mean the entrance for it's right in like here and then it goes down and then wraps all the way to this side of the building and then back again and then back again then you got the priority pass which isn't there's no queue for that but, I mean, you can see there's quite a bit of people in in line for this thing. So, 
but I did also, that was the other thing too, I did switch out all them little bamboo torches for an actual fire torch. And it helps light the park up a little bit better. As you can see here, people can actually see it a little bit better. Around through here. This is the section of the park that was pretty cool, I thought. With all the scenery up around through here. Then down by the pirate band. And then towards the front right here. And then I also went ahead and put a torch in with the pirate chest so that helps light it up a little bit more. So I did do quite a bit of uh, improvements. Look at all these people in the park. We have 5,272 people in the park. We have a 3,494 park rating. There's a lot of people in this park right now. Holy crap. And my FPS is starting to dip. I'm running at about 20 to uh, 19 to 22 FPS right now. So this park is starting to tank it down a little bit. This game is very demanding graphically. And I have the graphics turned down to medium on most of everything and low on the other. So usually on games I can run on ultra. But this game is, yeah, it's it's demanding. So, but because of this, I do know, I think I needed to have a coaster rating of a 1300 or higher, which we got it. Achieve a ride rating of 1300. So that ride we just put in, that roller coaster was a 1303 or something like that. So we just barely got it. $2,000 off of that. 50 people visit your restaurants in three months in a row. Got that. Have a hotel with at least 56 rooms. I think we have 54 in it right now. We started off with 52, and then I needed a challenge of 54 rooms. So I switched it to 54 rooms, and now I need to add two more rooms, but people aren't really using the hotel that much. I really don't want to do that challenge because it costs a lot of money per hotel block. So I don't know. We may or may not do that. I have no idea. But the more people that we get in the park, the more people will utilize the hotel. So let's see. Hotel. Five standard rooms are being used out of 37. Seven luxury rooms are being used out of 17. So, yeah. I mean, they say cheap, but if I add up if I add any more money to this, then they'll say it's too expensive. So it's like, either they say it's too cheap, but if I add 25 or 50 cents to the rooms, they say it's too expensive. So it's like, what should I do? But, I mean, as you can see, where's it at? Right here. Lifetime profit, negative $210,241. But... Last month, I mean, we're we're making we're starting to make some profit per month, but I don't know. It all depends on what the park rating is and how things are going. We'll determine on this because if we move this up, we'll say move that to forty-four. We'll do fifty-seven point five. That just moves it up to fifty-eight. We'll try that and see what they say. Um, and we'll go from there. But people are using it. Let's see how our restaurant's doing. Because that seems to be pretty profitable for us. You can see all the people going in and out of it. Um, oh, yeah. That was the other thing, too. I did add um, more food to this as well. But we had the Planko menu, the Tiki Cheeky. And then if you remember, we started off with the fries, but I took them off. I put them back on again. Um, because of, and also we added the sushi. Um, because I think I might actually even add, let's just add some pip shop. Pit, 
shop as well. That way people have something to drink. But, um... The other thing is the perk was on adult venue. I changed it to family venue. And that seemed to help everything out quite a bit. Um... So many great options. Finally, a family themed restaurant. So people were wanting that. I'm trying to, since it's over here next to the, all these other rides and stuff, I want it to be family friendly. But I think that's going to conclude this episode today. Um, we got the new roller coaster in, um, being pretty profitable for us as well. Let's take a look at that. Now it's broke down right now. So. But lifetime profit, $10,000. So we went from, what, negative $8,000, which probably would have been even lower than that starting out because of the cost of building the ride. So we've probably made close to about twenty dollars or $30,000 on this roller coaster already. So, and we're up to $56,700, almost $800. So, very nice. Um, let's go ahead and train up. I've been adding more staff as we go uh, to help clean up the park, uh, secure the park. I've added 10 new janitors. So we have 20 janitors walking around. Um, of course, the vendors, whenever we add some different stalls and stuff like that, they automatically get added. Um, I did hire another mechanics. We have five mechanics roaming around the park. And I also hired a few more because we had, what, three security guards. So I added, what, five more. So we have eight security guards run, roaming around the park now. Uh, so, but yeah. So I think that's where I'm going to, con going to conclude today's episode. I need to put lights here in this queue. Um, and then also down these new paths I just built. But that's where I'm going to conclude today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And uh, let me know in the comments below what we should do next. Uh, as of right now, uh, things are really looking good for our park. I'm still really, really thinking about putting in a river ride. Uh, having a river come down off of this, coming out and around. Maybe take it underneath this coaster and then maybe change up this path right here. Make it a bridge and then have it come the river right come down past here. Now we'll have to go underneath this path and then connect back up into the station. I don't know, something different. Have a little river ride, you know, nice relaxing scenery. Put some scenic, you know, scenery up around the river so that way it looks like a normal tropical river but let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys want to see any type of you know any different type of rides or roller coasters you guys want to see let me know and we will see what we can do because obviously we're doing good financially now no matter if rides break down or not we're still making money so um let me know what you guys think let me know also with the ride names park name stuff like that the only ride we actually have a unique name for is the ones somebody suggested for the goat carts are now goat carts. So other than that, there are no other unique ride names and park name. So I will uh, go ahead and get going here so that way I can start editing and I hope to see or I, like once again, I'm, I'm used to live streaming. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and hopefully you guys catch the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care.